NBA Living. After I had my daughter, it was, um, after I had my daughter, a month later, my wife had her, had her brain tumor and it was like, just like all this weight off my shoulders. It, it felt, man, it felt awesome. I felt like I could be a dad. Um, I love being a girl dad. She's like, she's crazy as hell, bro. She's, she's crazy. She's loud. She's wild, but she's caring. And she like really cares about people. Even at like a young age where it's surprising to see little kids like have those type of feelings. These are all getting old. Oh, no, these are all getting old, huh? Grab that one under there, that big one. But to have a girl, man, and, and see just the athletes that we've had around us has been has been really cool. Like she loves doing everything that we love doing. She loves traveling, and she's been doing it since she, since such a young age that like it's normal for her. Um, but to see, for the most part, I've seen everything with my daughter growing up. Like I've missed things here and there, like soccer practice or stuff with with school. Oh. But Are you ready? me being there right for her has been, man, way, like, it's been way funner than basketball. And then I have a new addition, my, my son Hendrix, who's four weeks old. Just even seeing him change and him looking the same as my daughter, but acting totally different is, is so weird, but at the same time, really cool. Big hand dog. Come on, can we take him to daddy's closet? Hmm? Are oh, you cool? All right. I think being able to be a provider um, is a great feeling. Uh, being able to provide not only for yourself, but for others, people around you, and even people that you don't know. Um, it's one of those feelings that, uh, I don't know if it's biblical or whatever, but it's something like as a man, it, it makes you feel your, your worth, like, you, like you're doing something or you're doing right. So being able to provide and just being blessed enough to be able to do that for not only my family, but like I said, even people I don't know is, is an awesome feeling. And honestly, I feel like if you, if you can do that, you should be willing to do that. It's, it's really cool. kind of this blueprint that I feel like my family had um, to get to this point. We all went different routes. Like I was one of the top in, in high school and then one year of college and then I went to the league. My, my older brother went to all four years of college and played overseas for two or three years, played in the in the D League, back when it was the D League, and then and then got on a roster with Golden State won a ring and then now he's been in the league for like six or seven years and then my little brother went to college for three years and then he got he got drafted like 22nd or something so uh i feel like even though all of our all of our routes to the league was different the the blueprint was there we all worked out together we all knew what what it took and and how hard it was but at the same time we all loved it like we all love being the best we can be on the court I found the balance um, between just preparing for a season is it starts in the off season, and I don't take that lightly. I mean, y'all saw just a little bit of what, what it was today, and that's just on the court. Um, that stuff is hard, and honestly, that stuff is harder than the game. So if your practice is high prepared, it's harder than the game, and the game should be pretty easy. But <clears throat> I think with the trainer that I have, Mike G, he makes it fun and enjoyable to be able to again kind of push yourself and go as hard as you can to the point where you almost want to stop um, 
doing that and, and, and making it fun uh, makes it a lot easier. Training is a stress and too much stress equates to inflammation and injury. But how we mitigate that stress is through proper recovery, which is nutrition, sleep. Those are definitely things that I really, really like to emphasize, but at the same time, um, try to give the athlete, try to give Drew the freedom to make his own decisions. See, the thing about it is, is if you execute instruction in a specific manner with a goal set to the player, they're gonna think about that drill completely different. So just challenging the environment. These guys are already really good. I'm not gonna help them be a better shooter, a better passer, they already have that. So how can I manipulate the environment to make it more stressful? That's all that is. It's, it's very simple when you think about it. It's just creating those types of environments is the, the difficult part. Group workouts, I think the whole intention of that and goal of that is to create a competitive atmosphere because elite athletes thrive when competition is presented. And I know how to do that really well. I talk a lot of trash to get people's levels to rise and get emotions a little high. But at the end of the day, getting guys to compete make people move with a sense of urgency. And when you move with a sense of urgency with a focused goal in mind, a lot of good things happen. Drew, you know, we, I've been with Drew through Philly, through the trade, through Lauren having a brain tumor, through the birth of JT. I've been there every step of the way. So, you know, it's more than just a client re trainer relationship. It's, it's far beyond that. And he is a part of my family. I consider him a brother. I, I extend my efforts to help him in every single way possible. And I feel like he would do that for me as well. So, you know, that's a brother for me for life. And uh, I love him like a brother. So there you have it. I just turned 30, so it's, I don't know. I, feel, I still feel young, but when you think of somebody who's 19 or 20 years old it's kind of like dang and even looking back to where i was and how i was and even how the game was different when i was 20 to even the guys coming in now um, how the game has changed so much um, but kind of how i help them and go through the same thing is you kind of have to just speak on experience uh, this basketball world is it's, it's not fun at times it, it can get it can get kind of tricky and uh, pretty cutthroat so uh, really just empathizing with people and and being able to share experience. New Orleans, they supported me so much through like my hard times that I felt like that was family to me. So being able to, right now, like leaving New Orleans is, is a bit weird. But I am excited about going to a team who was number one in the East last year, uh, playing with, I mean, the MVP and Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, not only him, but but Chris Middleton, having a great coach like, like Bud, so it's, it's exciting. NBA Living. Join the team.